Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to introduce you to the newest Celebrate release with Simon Says Stamp. It's full of all things Father's Day, graduation, wedding season, Taco Tuesday, and more. I'm going to start by walking you through some of the brand new stamp and die designs. First up is Grad Balloons for the upcoming graduation season. And these are like balloon letters that spell out congrats and grad. There's also a coordinating die set, as you can see to the left. So you have the big congrats, the grad. It says, so proud of you, wishing you the best. So much to celebrate and well done. There's also a couple of individual balloons with balloon strings and a couple different graduation caps that look like they're kind of flying in the air. Next up is to the happy couple. This is a larger wedding theme stamp set. And there are two coordinating die sets that go with this. The first one is called To the Happy Couple die set, and this coordinates with the larger images in the stamp set. So you have like, it looks like the groom or groomsmen and brides and bridesmaids, and then you have the To the Happy Couple greetings die set. And this one coordinates with all the sentiments. Happy wedding day to having to hold on this happy day. Happiest day ever. Happy ever after. So honored to celebrate your love and happiness to the happy couple love sweet love best day ever happy forever congrats and congratulations so this to the happy couple greeting die cuts all the sentiments even the little small ones so this is a great really companion to have to go with this wedding themed stamp set next up we have Simple Wedding Wishes. And this has a lot of sentiments in it that would be great for the inside of a card. Uh, so happy for you both. May the years ahead be filled with love and happiness. So honored to spend this happy occasion with you and your family. Here's to a long happy life with your best friend, wishing you both the best. Wishing you happiness, love, and joy on your wedding day. It's a joy to witness your love. Thank you for letting us share in the celebration. We're so happy for you. It's a true joy to know that for the rest of your life, there's someone in your corner through the highs and lows of life. I'm so glad you two have each other. Here's to a lifetime full of happiness and love. Wishing you well as you embark on this next chapter of life. Thank you for letting us share in your special day. We wish you all the happiness in the world. Then you have congratulations. May your marriage be filled with joy, wishing you both a lifetime of happiness, wishing you joy and love. That's a lot of reading, but those are great sentiments for the inside of wedding cards. Uh, next, we have Appreciate You, a great teacher appreciation card for the end of the year or during the year. Uh, there's also a die that goes well with this. It's called Star Bulb, and you can see um, the coordinating die for the stamp set is a little bit smaller, and uh, it coordinates with the Star Bulb in the stamp set. There's also several appreciation sentiments like we appreciate you, you're a star, you make a difference, teacher, just a note, you shine a bright light on education, thank you for a great year, for all you do, for caring. And then these iconic images, the light bulb, the apple, and the post-it note. Next up is Taco About It. I'm excited about this one. Anyone else love tacos? Uh, lots of iconic images. When life gives you limes, make margaritas. You're hot. Fiesta like there's no manana. You're my margarita. <laughs> You're my margal Rita. Got you covered. Let's talk about how awesome you are. I love you more than tacos, and I love the taco, but there is a standalone build a taco die set. There's also a margarita glass. I'll show you these. So this taco, build a taco, it's going to go great with this Taco About It stamp set. I actually created a card I'll show you at the end of the video. And then the margarita glass, that one is really cool too. You could do some fun things filling that with different colors of drinks, making it real fancy. And then there's just some great sentiments to go with it. There's also some taco themed sentiment strips that I will show later. Next up is celebrating you this is another larger stamp set uh, there are coordinating dies to go with the large images in the stamp set and the sentiments are happy birthday 
happy birthday, two different fonts. Wishing you the happiest birthday, happy birthday wishes, celebrating your day and celebrating you. So you have like, is this a dragon with a present and a, a bear, a piggy, a panda, and these look like little unicorns. So these adorable critters with birthday things, balloons and presents and all that. And then next we have Papa for the Father's Day or just cards any time of the year you want to give to a father figure that might be in your life. Here's the sentiments. Dad, Pops, Papa, Daddy, Daddy-o, Pappy, Padre, Pa, Father, Grandpa, Granddad, Opa, Mr. and Gramps. And then you have little sub sentiments. Hey, thanks for everything. You're my hero, the best ever. You've taught me so much. You're like a blank to me and love you. So there you have Papa. Next up is Flower Power, another larger floral theme stamp set with these very streamlined floral images. There's a coordinating die set to go with the images and the larger sentiments. Uh, okay, so the sentiments are, hello, tomorrow will be better, thinking of you, just a note, better days are coming, hey friend, hugs and happy thoughts, hang in there, it's your day. One thing I do want to show, there is a coordinating flower power stencil, and this will allow you to blend the color in your blooms effortlessly. I just love a coordinating stencil. I don't know what I love more, a coordinating stencil or a coordinating die. Well, this one has both, and I'm very excited about that. Flower Power Stamp and Die Set along with a Flower Power Coordinating Stencil. Next up is Celestial Wishes. This was also included in the latest card kit. So maybe you have it, you want to pick up the coordinating dies. You have the Celestial Wishes coordinating dies that coordinates with all the images. There's also the single Celestial Burst die. And this one will cut out that burst. It's kind of like, I don't know if you call it a sunburst or a moon burst. I guess it could be any type of burst. But both of these individual die sets coordinate with the Celestial Wishes stamp set. Sentiments are happy birthday, thank you, hope your day is magical, so very much, you're a treasure to me, sending you good vibes, miss you, and then wishing you the best day ever. And I love this little corner, little doodad there. That's kind of fun to go in the corner of a card. And then lastly, we have organic leaves background. This is a six by six clear stamp, not to be confused with the red rubber mounted on foam cling stamp. This is clear acrylic. You can see where you're placing it. Makes a beautiful, large background that you could do a lot of different techniques with. And it's called organic leaves background. Moving on to some standalone dies. First, we have fancy father. And I've die cut all these to show you for size and a really get a feel for the magic. So this one's great for the Father's Day projects. I love this fancy font. And then we also have Fancy Dad. And this one here I did in white and a dark navy. I love that swoopy D on the font. It really makes it special. And then we have the fancy Happy Ever After for the wedding card. This is a nice large sentiment that would fit nicely on the front of a card. So you could just do a decorative background and then you have your sentiment covered. Easy wedding card. And then we have Whirl Butterflies. Two different sizes of this Whirl themed. They layer beautifully together. I did two shades of purple. Uh, I just want to give you a close up of that intricate Whirl detail. These are like really cut. So if you wanted to manipulate all the little rings, the little whirl, uh, I don't know what you call them, but they're very unique. Next up is Lace Heart. And this is kind of a layering die set. Uh, you can do a lot of different things with it. There's two different hearts. One is kind of a doily, lacy, bordered heart, and one's a solid. So when you put them together and die cut like that, it's going to make it open in the middle, like this matte gold die cut here. See how that's open, but it gives you that border, that lacy border. But if you take out and just die cut the lacy heart by itself, it's going to make like this white die cut, which is, reminds me of a doily. And then you have that solid heart there, which I did out of pink. 
So you could layer these up, create a lot of different looks. You can inlay that heart inside. And then there's these little doodads here that you can just add a little detail, little embellishment, almost looks like a little, little button heart embellishment kind of goes down on the side or wherever you want to put it, uh, little leaves. There's also some foil transfer cards that coordinate with the lace heart theme. And it gives you four sheets of these kind of toner printed lacy heart images, which can be foiled. And then you could also use the coordinating dies to cut them out. So you could foil them up and then you could cut out the outer, that lacy part. You could also just cut out the inner, make it a shaker. Uh, give you a lot of different mileage, different looks you can do with the Lacy Heart products. Next up is Daisy Oval Frame, another intricate, unique die set. So first you have this large um, Daisy Oval Frame. It's very unique and pretty. And then you have this scallop, kind of a simple oval scallop frame. Another one that you could use individually. And then there's a couple of kind of layering floral dies just little embellishments that you could use to kind of embellish your frame, or you could use those individually and just create a card with those little florals. So you can get a lot of different looks. And then I showed you this before, but the margarita glass. I'm thinking if you cut some cardstock, like different shades of what might be a margarita drink, add some glossy accents, you could really get some fun drinks. And then the build a taco might be one of my favorite dyes. Uh, look at the purple onion in there, or the red onion, tomato, cheese, lettuce. And then the star bulb, I showed you this one before. It goes well with the Appreciate You stamp set. Great for teacher cards, great for the inventors in your life that have bright ideas or a bright future. And lastly, we have the A7 Nesting Frames die set. So this one cuts out a bunch of frames. Uh, if you look, there are, let's see, one... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, frame dies that are sized perfectly for A7 size cards. But when you leave them all together and die cut them, you're going to get way more than seven, like 13 almost. You almost double your A7 frames. And then there's also a thanks word die included. Great font. I did it out of white onto some uh, burnt orange cardstock. So here I just want to give you an idea how that sentiment fits inside those frames. You get a lot of different options. Just kind of draws the eye, finishes your card off. Now for some new Kathy Zilski products. We have Grad Cover Plate. I love this one. It's like a one and done, but so many different looks you can get for a simple, clean, graduation card. Maybe you don't have a lot of time. You can die cut that, put it on a card, and you're finished. I love the clean look of it. Here's to what's next with a graduation cap. And then there's also some grad foil transfer cards. Again, four sheets in a pack. These large grad sentiments that can be foiled. You have the reverse, all these like graduation sentiments, and then the regular, you did it, uh, so proud of you. Happy graduation. Congratulations. Way to go. Uh, you could use the sentiment label dies to cut out those sentiments. And then we have the Just a Note products, a large sentiment stamp set. I'm going to read them. You have that big Just a Note. And then we have Just a Note to thank you for all you do for me every day just by being my friend. Just a Note to tell you what a fabulous job you're doing. I'm so proud of you. Just a note to remind you how incredibly grateful I am to have you in my life. Just a note to tell you that you are the coolest person ever. How did I get so lucky to know you? Just a note to say hello. Just a note to say I miss you. Here's to all the things that go unnoticed. You don't think I see how hard you work, but I do, and I'm so proud of you. Just a note to remind you that even on the days that suck, I'm always here for you if you need a hug, a pep talk, or just someone to sit with you in silence. I'm your person always. Just a note to remind you how much I love you. You are one of the best parts of my life. Just a note to wish you the happiest birthday ever and to remind you how happy I am that you were born. Just a note to say I'm holding you in my heart during this difficult time. Just a note to say congrats. Just a note to say I love you. And then you have the standalone Just a Note 2 die set. 
and I did this one white out of green. So I do want to mention that the outer shadow would cut out the just a note in the stamp set if you want to stamp first and then die cut it. But then you can also use the standalone die to just have that just a note, that big jumbo, and then all those great sentiments that can go on the inside of a card. Moving along to some new stencil designs. Um, first up is the Flower Power, which I already showed you. It coordinates perfectly with that Flower Power stamp set. Big, bold, jumbo, modern, clean lined florals. So this is Flower Power. Next up is Tiled Posy, which is a layering stencil set. Comes with four stencils. The back of the packaging shows you the beautiful design and how it could look. So the four stencils look like this. First you have this one here, I don't know what you call it. And then this polka dot one, which I think could be great, even just used by itself. But you layer it with the floral blooms. There's two different kinds of blooms. When you mix them all together, you get this tiled, posy design. It's kind of a repetitive floral, but dainty. And uh, see that back of the packaging? Gives you that kind of like a tile floor or a splashback. And then next we have Modern Flower. This is just a big old bloom and I am visualizing this done with some fun paste. Maybe you take some white paste, mix it with your reinkers. Uh, maybe some of that new neon lunar paste. I don't know, but that's a really cool Modern Flower. And then Dash and Dot. Another very simple, kind of triangular, repetitive, geometric design. Would also look great using paste or those positively saturated inks. Moving along with some new embossing folder designs. There are several to go through and I've embossed every one of them to show you the magic. First up is this little mini. It's called Sunny Fern. It was also included in the latest card kit. But if you don't have the card kit and you'd like to purchase this individually, it's available with a Celebrate release. Cuts out that opening frame in the midst of the fern. Here we have Feather Spiral. Look at that spirally, feathery. I did it on some dull pink cardstock. Amazing texture. This one here surprised me. It's called the Flower Buds Unfolding. This one is the most textural of all. I was like pleasantly surprised at the amazing texture. And this one too, it's called the Sunrise Overlay. This can give you a lot of different looks. It looks like waves, scallops, the backside's just as pretty. When you flip it over, it's kind of giving me mermaid vibes. So I'm thinking if you blended some iridescent aqua purple, uh, you could do mermaid theme. Here we have floating flowers, just a simple but very beautiful textural floral background, kind of dainty and feminine. And then we have shimmering starfall. This one has some very pointy textural stars. It'd be great for graduation cards or the celestial theme projects. And then we have some emboss and cut. So this is the embossing folder and cutting die chelsea floral so it has that floral embossing folder which i did out of some uh what is this green apple cardstock and then i die cut the blooms put them back into the embossing folder and it gives you that beautiful texture so you could do those out of different colors here's the same idea it's called captivating keys so this one gives you the individual key dies i die cut this out of some orange cardstock but the keys, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. They have incredible detail to them. And I was just thinking how cool these would be with metallic cardstock. So it would look like metal keys. But I was also thinking rainbow keys. <laughs> I don't know what's better. Maybe I should do rainbow metallic keys, combine them both. But here we have the Beaufort floral frame. Is it Beaufort or Beaufort? I don't think I'm smart enough to pronounce that correctly, but it's a beautiful floral frame embossing folder with three individual blooms that you can die cut first and then put them back into the embossing folder. I didn't pick the best colors, but I wanted to showcase this. If I were doing this, I would do the blooms in a lot of different warm tones, but uh, this is definitely showing the detail on those blooms. And here we have blossom bunches and I did this one out of a very soft gray. Are these peonies? They look like large 
kind of rose peonies. And then I, there's two floral dies that I die cut individually, put them back into the embossing folder for that incredible floral texture. And you could do those with a little ink blending. Next up, we have a few new foil transfer cards designs. This first one is called Fancy Dad and Father Greetings. There's four sheets in the pack and they are kind of like father, Father's Day sentiments or cards that you might give to your fathers. There's also two sheets of the bold Fancy Father and the Fancy Dad. So these would work well with the Fancy Dad and Fancy Father dies. That outer shadow die could cut out that sentiment after you foil it or before you foil it. Maybe you should die cut first. I'm not sure the order. I'm sure they're doing a video walking you through how to foil these. You can use a lot of different colors of foil. This next one is called the Diamond Circles Foil Transfer Cards. You get four sheets of this kind of toner printed cardstock, which can be foiled in a variety of colors. There's also several new sentiment strip uh, sets. Uh, we have the Congratulations sentiment strips, four sheets. They're all the same, they're identical. And these as well can be foiled. And then you also have the reverse congratulations sentiment strips. And you can foil these as well. You can cut these with a little mini guillotine. I love doing that. I also love the sentiment strip dies. And then next we have the birthday mail sentiment strip set four sheets three of them are the reverse like the white on black and one sheet is the black on white with the big bold fancy birthday sentiment these can be foiled as well and then lastly we have the let's party sentiment strips you have the four sheets of black on white and these have that taco theme which would go well with the talk about it stamp set and the build a taco and the margarita die and then you have the reverse let's party white on black my favorite always great to have a sentiment strip you cut them out pop them on a card when you can't think of a sentiment new ink colors new positively saturated in sky dusk and night as well as the reinkers i've stamped these to show you the color i stamped them one time they stamp like butter three shades i love how the positively saturated inks come in families of three which gives you a light medium and a dark tone this is trio number 25 if you're counting so the back of the ink pad tells you a little information and also i should mention that they blend like butter they're also labeled they come labeled i love that feature so you can keep your life organized i'm trying i am trying uh, all three are labeled you got sky dusk and the darkest night the reinkers if you need to reink your pad i have not yet needed to reink they're very juicy but you can also do some fun techniques with reinkers um, also in this release are some bubble mailers that come in fun colors. You have red and they are self-adhesive, like a sticker. You pull it off, seal it. You got red, pink, purple, navy, blue, teal, and lastly, there is black. So these will be sold in single colors in a six pack. Now for size, I just wanted to show you a standard A2 size card. Sometimes it's actually cheaper if your card's very dimensional to mail it in a bubble mailer. I've, I've learned this. Then trying to put it in an envelope that's really thick and it won't fit through the thingamajiggy at the post office. Put it in a bubble mailer and get a pink one. Two new sequin packs. We have the Starshine Embellishment Mix, my all-time favorite in the whole wide world clear iridescent three different sizes these are kind of like confetti the perfect the perfect shaker filler right here starshine I, I need a lifetime supply of that one and then we also have dusk that kind of coordinates with the new ink colors this one gives you these iridescent blue almost kind of periwinkle uh, three different sizes great for a celestial shaker and then we have the warm tone dazzling gems they come in the little cute paw print tub i'll dump them out to kind of show you there's several different shades in here but they're all kind of warm tones a lot of different sizes dazzling gems 
And last but certainly not least are the new Simons & Stamp coordinating dies that coordinate with the beautiful Tim Holtz cling stamp sets. So they've already had a live showing this, but I did want to mention it's part of the Celebrate release as well. We have the crochet trims stamp set designed by Tim Holtz. And now we have the coordinating dies that coordinate. There's actually two different die sets, one for the larger crochet trim and one for the smaller trims. So that is the crochet trims, the thick and the thin die set. Next we have the Forgotten Garden stamp set. And now Simon's Stamp has created the coordinating dies to go with all of those images. So that is the Forgotten Garden. And now we have the Curiosity Shop, another favorite. I love this Curiosity Shop, the numbers, the font, the sketchy typewriter, pointed fingers, and now Simon's the Stamp has the coordinating dies to go with it. Now this one is probably my all-time favorite, the paint by number. These big, bold, tall, paint brushy stroke numbers. Now Simon's the Stamp has the coordinating dies. This is gonna give you a lot more mileage cutting out those, great for birthday projects. I'm thinking even if you isolate one of those dies, like say you take the large, you know, number five, and you just die cut that, you could make a shaker. I'm thinking shaker numbers. Paint by numbers, one of my favorite. And then lastly, we have the abstract florals. This is a stamp set by Tim Holtz, and now Simon's Stamp has the coordinating dies to go with it. Maybe you already have the stamp set for some of these Tim Holtz sets, and you'd like to pick up the dies. Well, now you can. And that is everything in this beautiful new Celebrate release. Before we go, I wanted to share a couple projects that I've created. First up is the grad cover plate by Kathy Zilski. I just kept it simple and did a little inlay. And then we have the build a taco with the taco about it stamp set. Let's talk about how awesome you are. Make sure and check out the Simon's the Stamp blog for more information on this Celebrate release, as well as fabulous inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.